Okay, now I'd like to talk about the balance certified weight kit that each rep should have. If you don't, please let us know. We're more than happy to ship you one. The weight kit consists of 12 different weights. As you can see, in a nice little kit. Each weight, generally, we sell for $40 a piece. They install in the butt end of the, of the putter. And they're, what they're going to do is activate the big muscles in the body. They allow the putter to come back on the proper arc. When we're taking a putt without one, we're only getting the information in our top hand. So if I'm going to hit a putt, I'm a right-handed player. My left hand is the one that's going to be getting the no vibration. My right hand is going to be getting all of the vibration of when I hit it. That's the reason why I can feel off-center hits and so on. Hit it. If I put a weight in the butt end, it's going to eliminate all the bad vibes in it, and it's going to make it very solid feeling regardless of whether I hit it on the heel or the toe. So you'll have to test this for yourself. Very simple. What I do when I do a demo day is generally I'll have four or five putters already with holes in the grips. It's kind of a conversation piece, and I let people know it's very simple how to do this. You grab a putter. It doesn't, it doesn't have a hole in it. You take your cutter, which is in a little blue handle, you can see here, just a hand cut, and you pull the, the donut out, that's what I call it. So now I got the donut to the putter, there it is right there, and this allows me to put a weight inside. So now I can take the weight, put it down the putter, make sure it's nice and flush, and you can see how flush that is, okay? This particular weight right here is a number seven weight. What that means, this particular weight weighs 70 grams. You can add a zero into it. I take my Allen wrench and I tighten it up, making sure that the weight doesn't move while I'm doing so. All you have to do is feel it, okay? And this is the beginning. I recommend putting a number seven weight in most of the putters, letting the person try a dozen putts, letting those how it feel, and ask them, would you like a little heavier, or would you like it a little bit lighter? If they say to you, I'd like one a little bit heavier, very simple. Take your tool, go counterclockwise, loosen it up, you'll be able to feel it. Then there's also another little tool, and I call this the wine cork puller. We'll take this, just screw it in a couple screws, pull it right back out, take the different weight, Put it down, back in, tighten it up, let them try it. Generally, it's a good idea to go from 70 grams to 90 grams to 110 grams. And there also is a 140 weight. We don't use those in our kit, but in case you do have somebody that says, I have to have heavy, I want to buy the putter because of that, call in. Lauren will ship you one, special one. Or we can put these in in Washington and have them shipped directly to the customer. So, very simple. Taking the weights out, cutting a hole putting the weight in, tighten it up, let the player try it. What I like to do is if they, if they buy a weight kit, let the person go out on the golf course, try the weights if they want to change it out, not a problem. It's the same price for all the weights. I want to dem them to this. Uh, when we go into a, to a demo day type situation and people want to try the weights but they don't want us to cut a hole in it, part of that weight kit has different weights on there. And this one happens to be a number 11 weight and it has a little dowel on the end, which you can put it into the end of the putter, and the person can try the weight. Now, you're going to get a lot of people telling you that you can buy weights that go into putters uh, that fit on top of the weight, and they'll go down into the shaft. So this can give them the same sensation. What I ask you to do is to have them try it like this and give them one of your putters that has the weight that goes down into the shaft. There is no comparison. They're going to end up wanting to buy one that goes down into the shaft. So, for example, there's grip companies out there putting the weights into the top. You have, you have other companies out there that are calling this counterbalance by putting a heavier grip on the end. The only true way of counterbalance is through the balance certified, and that's with the brass weight that goes down into the shaft that helps us with the vibration. In fact, these were tested on a oscilloscope. When the ball makes contact with the putter without a weight in it, it does this on the screen, like what a polygraph test look like. When you put the weight in there, it does this. So I encourage everybody to go to balancecertified.com to take a look and, and to see what the weights do for the putters. The putters for us 
or yeah, they're a money maker. But the main thing for the for the weights on the putters is to help us sell our putters. So so after the length is done, the lie angle is done, the mallet or blade is done, or mid mallet, all the stuff is done. The, the grip is chosen. You name it. This is the last thing that you do is you install a weight into the end of the putter. You let the person try it either through this way or guaranteed they want to wait and you can start doing the interchangeable. But without this, the job really isn't finished. That is the weight kit. The weight kit costs $300. If the golf pro or the, the clerk sells all the weights, that's $480. All the, the uh, uh, reorders from the weights just get with, the, with uh, Lauren. He'll give you the price to do that.